Welcome back to the channel. It's time to give my full verdict on the wide field of view lenses that I've received from Pimax for the Pimax Crystal. Now I've been testing these out for a number of months now, including some prototype lenses. Well, I've now got the final versions in my hands and don't worry, I'm not going to take too long about this in giving you my final conclusions. Let's get straight into this. Just to say that these replace the normal standard 35 ppd lenses by removing a screw and then magnetically attaching them this is my first issue actually with this whole thing because i don't like first of all how you've got to use a screwdriver right next to those beautiful glass lenses you're just asking for trouble i've also noted the little magnets can fall out of the back of the lenses and that actually happened to me the first time and even though the pimax crystal software was saying that the wide field of view lenses were detected the left lens was not on correctly and that's me being a vr veteran so i'm sure that could happen to you too However, once they were in position, I was able to uh, just test out the field of view difference. So I've used a piece of software. I can't remember what it was called now, but I'll put on the screen now what it was. And first of all, I retested the field of view with the normal standard 35 PPD lenses, which for me was 102 degrees. And with the wide field of view lenses, I'm getting 112 degrees, so a 10 degree difference, which doesn't sound like a lot, but actually in practice, it does feel more substantial than just the technical figures suggest. However, first of all, there's definitely a smaller sweet spot, especially in the vertical axis. I will say though, that I was very impressed with the overall clarity, which felt very similar, if not the same, as the 35 PPD standard lenses. But that sweet spot is a bit tricky to get into. And that's something I never thought I would say with an aspheric lens design. And I also noticed that well, after about an hour, I started to get a bit of eye strain. That may be down to the focal length that, for me, wasn't really working very well. In fact, it actually felt a little bit like I had a slight prescription on the lens. And I could even feel that my eyes were trying to strain to get the right image. It just didn't feel very relaxing for me. That might be also down to the binocular overlap, which seems to be improved with the lenses I was using with the face foam as well. I did try the thin and thick face foam. Uh, I did find with the 15 millimeter face foam that the binocular overlap was just too much. Couldn't stand it. Uh, but then with the thinner face pad, I had a sort of strange feeling that I just couldn't quite focus with my eyes enough. So there is some trade-offs here and please bear in mind, this is very subjective. I think for a lot of people, this might work okay, especially if you're not perhaps looking at really fine gauges and need just that real perfect image when you're in the cockpit. If you're in a race sim or you're playing general games, that extra field of view might give you that more immersion. But for me, I'm still, I'm sorry to say, not a fan. I did also notice a fair bit of chromatic aberration with these lenses, which isn't so obvious with the 35 PPD standard lenses that I use for my crystal. But again, that's quite subjective because I've tried different crystals now and they each have varying levels of chromatic aberration. So take that with a pinch of salt, really. But overall, I personally feel that it's very clever what Pimax are doing here, but I really feel they're pushing the limits and perhaps even going a bit over when trying to really stretch out that field of view without making some, you know, pretty significant sacrifices in other areas. And to really do this properly, it should ideally be done in hardware. Anyway, sorry guys, bit of a negative review on that one. But thank you so much for watching, as always. I really do appreciate it. Please feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.